My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. My name is Mita and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello. Hi. <laughs> and if you like my content, Miss Thing, don't forget to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. Engagement is engagement and we invite it all, Miss Thing. Millie Rock. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Okay? Okay, guys. Let's get right into this video. So today, guys... Here, um, I will put in the cards a video that I did on palettes that I purchased that I never used. Okay, so y'all know most of the time, girl, we buy, 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 and we kind of lose track of the palettes that we have. And we tend to, I don't know if it's just me, guys, but like I'll use one palette and then boom, to the next one. One time, use it one time, boom, to the next one. So I'm trying to utilize my palettes more. And what I am finding is that when I want to do a makeup look, like let's say, for example, I want a shimmer palette, like an all shimmer palette. For some reason, I always gravitate towards, and I'm going to show you guys right now. Every time I need a shimmer, I will gravitate towards my Fenty Beauty palette that's all shimmer. Or I will gravitate towards my Moondust palette palettes that's all shimmers now we all know i got more than just two shimmer palettes in this freaking collection okay uh stay tuned stay tuned guys i will be doing a palette collection video for 2020 so you guys can see all the palettes i have accumulated over the years um so yeah guys i know i have more than just those two palettes as far as shimmers go again with matte formulations it's like okay i need a matte palette i'll gravitate towards my sugar pill if i need some really bright mattes that's another thing too if i'm looking for a palette like right now the sugar pill is all the way in the bottom i'm constantly changing my palettes i hate the sugar pill um actual palette i love their eyeshadows but the palettes they get so dirty and like you cannot clean them. Look at this, disgusting. I hate it, I hate it. I'm about to take these out and put them in a the tea palette because girl, I can't. But anyways, um, yeah guys, the way I have my palettes set up um, and I will show you guys in a bit, I have a tripod, so I am happy. I have a big tripod that I bought and I am loving it so far. I haven't really tried it, tried it, but um, when I put it together, I'm in love. So I think I'm gonna do a full in-depth review on that tripod for those of my recording little guys out there, okay? Um, so yeah, the setup that I have for my eyeshadow palettes currently is just not feasible, guys. It's not working. And I find myself every time I need a matte palette or a colorful palette or a shimmer palette or a, a neutral palette, I have to really dig in my collection. And I don't know what is where and where is what. So, <laughs> so guys, I came up with this idea. What if I organized my palette drawers in sections so shimmer palettes with shimmers colorful palettes with colorful palettes neutrals with neutrals that way when i'm looking for a specific color or a, a specific shimmer or you know whatever they're categorized right uh who knew who came up with this i don't know if somebody else came up with the girl but i just thought of it out the blue okay so i went on amazon let me show you guys it comes in this little boxy box here and I went and I went and I purchased some drawer dividers, okay, for the Alex IKEA drawers. So in the picture, I noticed that they had um, IKEA drawers. They had these inserts inside IKEA drawers. Now you do kind of lose an inch of space, okay? So I'm gonna just, it comes in a pack of four. I will put the price here. I will also link these in the description down below in case anybody's interested. Um, I have not used them yet. This is what they look like. They do extend out, I believe, sideways. And then you push it down. So you open it to unlock it so it can move. And then you close it and you lock it. And it has like these little grips on either side, which is kind of like foamy. Um, they don't come across as really durable. 
like it's gonna hold i don't know we will see guys going into this video so this does come in a pack of four i took one out this is how they come they come in plastic already so it comes in a stack of four i did however measure my drawers and i did find that these do um fit so as you can see you can't push it back in because it's locked so you have to unlock it and then push it down boom you can only pull it out while it's locked but it won't see it won't go back while it's locked okay okay so let's get into this video guys comment down below if you think this is a good idea um i hope i get more use out of my palettes using this new um organization kind of deal and uh yeah because i want to utilize all my palettes guys i pay money for these palettes out of my own pocket i do not get pr guys i just want to get the best bank for my buck and i feel like i'll use a palette like i said before once and i'll never see it again and if i do you know like kind of like when, when i'm rumbling through my palettes and i see it i'm like oh my god i want to use this palette but then i forget all about it so let's try to categorize these palettes into categories that I'll reach for them. I also have like these post-it notes where I'm gonna cut them all the way with only the sticky side. If you have label makers, that's even better. I have a label maker, but I ran out of the uh, paper. So I will be using the top of the sticky notes and being that this is so wide here, you know, it's about maybe an inch. It's about an inch. Um, I could get that sticky top paper on there and I could just put like shimmer, um, matte, whatever it is, okay? So let's get right into this video. <laughs> okay guys so this is the first drawer and what i want to do is i want to take everything out and we're going to put it in categories so we just take everything out and as i put them in i will put them either by brand or by category like i feel like all these palettes should be in the same place like because these are just like collective pieces the Urban Decays, um, my Too Faced palettes, um, those I feel like should be all together. I mean, if I'm being frank, these are all, like, I, I would put these all in neutrals. Because I feel like those are all, like, neutral palettes. I have to be careful not to drop any of the stuff. Okay. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to go get some wipes so I can wipe this down. I have been wanting to do this video for a while, guys. And I've been procrastinating because I know that this is going to be some work here. But I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can. Okay, so these will be my neutral palettes. Now, I was thinking, you see how back here, I can't really get back here. Let's take everything out. And I think, ooh, oh God, guys. Oh, I have so many palettes. I hope I don't drop any of these. I'm like, okay. Now, this is my nightstand. I can move my nightstand back more towards my bed. And that way, I could extend these drawers out more because sometimes you can't get to the back over there. Now, if I'm mistaken, I think how this works. This is where Mita knew she messed up. <laughs> hey guys, editing Mita here. How are you? <laughs> guys, I'm going to show you a clip after I... Um, did some crazy macgyver stuff to my drawer and um i got it to extend out but at what cost really guys it's not as stable i don't feel like and i feel like it gets stuck now yeah i don't recommend um extending your your ikea drawers just don't do it don't do it man <laughs> don't do it guys i would not recommend um <laughs> extending your drawers if i'm gonna zoom in you see all those prints from the oil my hands got so black guys my nails are just disgusting now after doing that. i had to wash my hands like 50 million times so i'm gonna show you the drawer i am not a hundred percent satisfied with it guys so a lot of freaking mistakes um 
I think moving forward, I have a better understanding of how to do it. Just like with anything else, you're going to have trial and error. Um, I think my drawer, if anything, it hurt my drawer. I feel like my drawer is a little more wonky and less stable. So let me show you. So this is my drawer out and then I can pull it, extend it out like that far. But I have to yank it and pull it and tug on it and it doesn't feel stable when it's out that much. So I wouldn't recommend doing this to your drawers, guys. Um, it was a great experience. I got to try it out and I don't like it. So there's that. And now I did too many bending and tugging and pulling that uh, I don't, there's no way to go back. So this is it. Um, so I don't know if the drill will come in handy, you know, and just to give you guys an overview of what my vanity is looking like. We got Clorox wipes, we got dividers, we have palettes galore, along with some palettes on my nightstand, and we still have more palettes to get through. So let's get through this video guys uh, so we're just gonna get into this drawer excuse me jules excuse me you playing with your teddy here baby here's your teddy ah you got your teddy okay mommy's just cleaning her drawer i just cleaned my drawer here you go oh. <laughs> okay girl ah uh, she has so much energy Okay, now that we're nice and clean, let's throw in this divider. So, I could divide it. Oh, no, I can't divide it this way. Okay, so that's good to note, guys. It is not long enough. This is it. Okay, wait. This is it all the way to the back. That's where it reaches, just so you know. Um, so, this would work sideways, which is fine. I could do sideways. So, I'm going to it out a little more and lock her in so she's nice and tight okay that feels really tight in there pretty durable and this drawer does extend out so i can't extend it this was one of the reasons i wanted to extend the drawer guys because i was putting these dividers like this i wanted to make sure that i could bring my drawer out which i can as you can see and i think moving forward the other drawers if I feel like I have to do it, then I will because I have a better understanding and I think it will be better moving forward versus this one that I did. A, this one's a little wonky, but I understand it now when you pull it out. So, see, I have to slam it. Well, no, I don't. Okay. So, if I pull it out, I have to lift and I have to add like a little tug on it to get it to extend out fully like this, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not bad. I'm going to put majority of my palettes on the right side of my vanity. Okay, guys. So we're moving to the right side of my vanity. And I think I kind of like it better this way. I, I still have two drawers on the left side of my vanity. So... I have a total of one, two, three, four, five palette drawers. So we're moving to this side. Let's get this guy in here. Okay. Ugh. That's in there pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's in there pretty tight. Okay. So now what we're going to do is... We're going to put the shimmer palettes, as we said. Now, the Galaxy Chic um, palette, I feel like this falls into shimmer palettes. So, I'm going to put that back there. Let's get this ball rolling. These are the colorful palettes. So, to take me back to the cell, I think I will put in here. And these can go up like this, which is awesome. Um, we have glitter. Should glitter go with shimmer? I think so. I don't see why not. These are mattes. I think my matte palettes, uh, even though this one's colorful, this is pastel, but still, I think pastel should be with color, no? Let's see what we have under here. So, let's take these puppies out. The drawer down there, I think it's going to be all Jeffree Star palettes, just because his palettes are big and 
I just, I don't see it. Um, okay, so colorful. Let's get some labels. The shimmer and glitter label, and then we have the colorful label right there. Um, these are just simply neutrals, or these are more like warm neutrals. I don't know if I have enough warm neutrals to actually, um, this would be considered warm neutrals. Um, I think I do have enough to make a warm neutral section because I really love warm neutrals. So I'm pretty sure I have a lot of those. Um, just, I'm kind of all over the place, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so back there will be the warm neutrals warm neutrals grungy colors then we're gonna have j jeffree star down here so let me just get some of my jeffree star palettes so i can start clearing um the top of this area here um let's get some colorful palettes okay grungy colors warm neutrals these are shimmers and glitters these are, this is like a, I don't know. It's shimmers, but then there's mattes. It's like a colorful, this is like a colorful palette, but it's like a colorful neutral. This goes with like my Urban Decays and stuff like that. Okay. And then on the other side of me, Towards the other side, we have um, my, because these are three drawers here, and then I have two drawers on the opposite side. Now, all of them don't have dividers, just these two have dividers. Um, the other ones don't because they come with a lot of stuff. Now, I have my warm neutrals, warm neutrals. This is the Treasure Hidden Treasures palette. That's going with my warm neutrals, Urban Decay After Dark. This is all shimmers. That should go with my shimmers and glitters. Um, these are, this is the Naughty by Kylie Jenner. I think this is like warm neutral, I would say. Warm neutral palette. Warm neutral palette. Sassy Sienna's warm neutral palette. I didn't realize how many warm neutrals I have. Okay, we have Ace Beauté. Warm neutral palette. I love warm neutrals. This is just boxy charm. Just gives me so much crap. Oh, I'm getting so tired of boxy charms. Same palettes. This is glitters and shimmers. I don't know what I would put that with. Um, warm neutral palette. Um, Take me back to Brazil would be my colorful eyeshadows. Where am I putting my colorfuls? Um, this is my JFC. My colorfuls are on the other side. So I will be putting my colorfuls on the other side. Here we go. We have the Misunderstood palette. I think this would be grungy, um, grungy colors. Kat Von D Serpentina, grungy colors. Uh, peanut butter and jelly, warm, neutral palettes. Ooh, shook it a little. Warm neutral, and then I can, once I organize them, I can get them into the categories they need to be. This is the Seattle London Warm Neutrals uh, Rainbow. That is um, colorful palette. Shimmer palette. Del So. Uh, this is orange, kind of. I think this is the Warm Neutrals. Um, then we have like a highlighting palette. I don't even think this should be. It should be with my highlighters. The Alchemist palette should be in my highlighting drawer, I would say. Then we have the Neons by Huda Beauty. These are my Neons. Um, I think we need to make a Neon section. However, I have brand out of drawers. Oh, we have one here. Wait, pastel. So maybe we could do pastel and neon. See chic shimmers. Um, just peachy mattes. This is warm neutrals as well. Jeez, we got a lot of warm neutrals, guys. Um, my Norvina, the one I just um, 
did a review on. This is a colorful palette. I would put this with colorful palettes. And I think the color, my colorful palettes need a whole drawer because the amount of colorful palettes I have is just ridiculous. I'm, I gravitate more towards color. That's just who I am. Here we have Pops of Color. Pops of Color. I think these are grungy. Yeah, let's go with the grungy. Grungy colors. Uh, my Vice, this is a collector's item. I have a drawer, guys, just for collector pieces. So don't worry, at the end, I will show you guys everything. These are glitters, literal, literal glitters. I think I should put these in my glitter drawer, which I will do at the end. Uh, we have the Kat Von B metal mats. These are grungy, along with shimmer. I would put that here. Um, box of crayons, colorful palette. That will go in the colorful drawer. Uh, Pretty Rich by Too Faced. This has a lot of glitters in it. But it is warm neutrals, so I think I'll put it with the glitters, the shimmer and glitter. Um, Revlon, Tammy X Revolution. This would have to go Tammy X Revolution, colorful palette, Sigma, Creme de la Tour, pastel, neon palettes. Okay, guys. So, I mean, if I go through all my palettes here with you guys, we will be here forever. So let's just speed this up. Um, I will organize all my palettes and I will be right back. Okay, guys. This is what we have. The first drawer, I changed it. Neutrals down here. And then we have our shimmers and our glitters up there. Okay. And in the next drawer, we have our grungy colors and warms and neutrals up there i have a lot of warms and neutrals this is good because like at least now i see what i have a lot of like i don't need any more warms and neutrals seriously next we have jeffree star but i couldn't fit these big palettes in the other drawer and i don't know guys i don't know we'll see how this organization works out for me but i think i may have to i don't know I don't know. I'm confused. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment in the section down below. How do you think I should organize these? Do you think I did a good job? I don't know. I don't know. These are all my colorful palettes. I needed a whole drawer for my colorful palettes, guys. Oh, my God. And then these are kind of like my neutral palettes, Urban Decay, Too Faced, um, and just some collectors. Maybe the Loca palette, the Vice, I think the Four um the saint center palette beetlejuice palette um some book of shadows over there these are just like my collector's items so honestly guys like i don't know i don't know if i like this organization simply because like my colorful palette draw look let me show you so like this drawer like, I feel like I have to, like, dig still for stuff. You know? Like, I can't really see anything. Mm, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do about my colorful drawer. Um, and then this one down here still feels like it's all, like, like a mashup. I mean, these are all my collectibles over here. And then these are all my neutral palettes. So, I guess this drawer is okay. I guess that one's okay. Um, this one down here is a little bit of a mess. This is my Zodiac, so this would be like warm neutrals. And then my colorful palette. Let's see if I can fit this in the colorful drawer, because that's the James Charles. That one's the colorful palette. Yes, that one's nice. Okay. That could go in here. Then my warm neutrals. And then this big Too Faced one didn't fit. Which this one I would have put with the grungy, um, the grungy palette. Does it fit in the, oh, does it fit in the front here? You think I could get it to fit here? Let's see. Can I pick this up and kind of move it? Let's see if we can take one of these small pallets out, put it back there, and kind of just move this back and see if we can fit this in here. I'm trying to get these to move, guys.
there we go got it in nice and snug there we go that worked out so i have that with the grungy palettes and then we have this lucid dreams one which doesn't fit anywhere this is kind of like a neutral grungy palettes this one i guess i could just leave here it's not a big deal and then those are all my jeffree stars back there and then underneath i have my underneath the zodiac are my ugh, z palettes oh my god guys this is a nightmare seriously a nightmare you would think i would stop buying palettes after this right so annoying so that's how i organize my palettes guys but i am hiding something in my studio slash office i have more palettes and those are palettes that I need to review. So let's go look at those. So guys, uh, this is my studio desk. I have a DIY coming up soon on how to create your own um, kind of makeup packaging themed tabletop. Um, these are palettes that I have not reviewed yet that are up for review. some more in here i haven't reviewed any of these palettes so if you guys see any palettes here that you want me to review on my channel let me know if not i think it's too late to review them this is while i was sick i was just buying and storing palettes so just let me know i was looking for a nice green palette for saint patrick's day and i really like this one um do you guys have this one how do you like it i like the mattes in here really pretty yeah and that so as you guys saw i organized my drawers uh, i'm feeling the organization because i feel like now i know where everything is but my ocd is kicking in and i kind of want my palettes i want all the small palettes with the small palettes the medium palettes with the medium palettes the large palettes with the large palettes ah! hopefully i can break out of that habit and just leave them in the categories that they are in and I don't revert back to the way they were because the way they were, I did not know where anything was, okay? I am thinking in the near future because I have, because, what? <laughs> Why said that like that? What would you say? <laughs> what? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> because I have two Ikea five drawers as well as two Ikea nine drawers. Let me show you guys. I'm sure many of you have seen this already. I have two Ikea five drawers, and then I have my nine drawers there. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> then I have my nine drawers on the side. I am thinking, guys. Sorry. Do you guys like the little light around my TV? I thought it was so nice to add to my background. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should utilize some of these drawers on the side. I mean, I already have stuff in them, but I could accommodate, you know what I'm saying, for my palettes. And what if I just made each drawer um, a specific, like, all my neutrals or my neutrals. Or what I think I'm going to do is I'm, I'm probably going to get some more drawers, um, maybe over here towards my left side. Um, some bigger drawers for the palettes that I have a lot of, kind of like my neutrals. And what I'm noticing, too organizing my palettes i noticed what i have a lot of now i have a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes guys and i don't think i will be purchasing any more colorful eyeshadow palettes because i have so many like wow wow that is my weakness colorful eyeshadow palettes i just i die every time <laughs> so i think i need to stray away from that a little bit i feel like i don't have a lot too many um shimmer palettes i have enough i have a nice amount but i don't have too many and i don't have a lot of neutrals i have a lot of warm neutrals but not a lot of neutral palettes um yeah so that is that guys i hope this gave you some ideas as how to utilize your palettes more and um let me know what you think about the dividers i got i thought they were pretty cool let me know if you have dividers in your um ikea alex drawers and if you have your palettes categorized and do you think this was a good idea um comment down in the section down below and let me know 
I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.